What up, players? It's Warboss Tap, and it's my here is my Glotkin commission. The Glotkin is finished. The riders I'm painting separately because the client would like to magnetize them to the beast. But just wanted to show you what else I did since last you saw him. First of all, I cleaned up the purple around the three-eyed Nurgle symbol over there. I um, what else? I did some highlighting like on the skin there. Just really small things, finding all of the little nooks and crannies where the the skin underneath is breaking through, painting all the maggots and everything. And then the basing is what I'm really proud of. I use Gale Force 9. I think it is meadow, meadowland kind of scrub. Here, I've got it right here. Uh, meadow blend flock. Okay, so you can see it's got like some grass looking things, some little baby flowers. Really good, and um, Gale Force 9. I also used, you might see some white tufts of flowers there and in the back, which I'll show you in a second. There's some other tufts of flowers, yellow right there by the foot. So that is Army Painter Battlegrounds Metal Flowers. It's basically just you take a tweezer and then you um, kind of pull it off. It comes apart really easily. And then apply a little white PVA glue to where you want it and just stick it down. It looks pretty good. I uh, use Vallejo Realistic Water Effects for the little rivulet there. I painted it Incubi Darkness, or first was Abaddon Black and then Incubi Darkness, and then Transparent Water. When I put it down, it created these streaks, which I thought would be kind of nice to show movement, water movement, so that is going to dry pretty nice. I did it over there on the rocks because even though it's a, it's a brook, there's no real bridge or anything because it's so small, but I wanted to show that the water was moving from the back to the front and you didn't really get that feeling earlier. So once that dries, it's going to look pretty awesome. The back's already started to dry, so I'll show you what the back looks like. And it should all have this kind of shiny reflective quality when I'm done with it, which I think is terrific. Last part I want to show you is the signpost. So the client has been talking to me over email and I've uh, kind of had this idea for a while because he wants this little encounter to take place at uh, Crossroads. So I decided to build him up this Crossroad sign. Actually, first he said he wanted it to take place somewhere in the meadows and like a farmland. And then I decided, okay, well, we'll have it on a road and we'll have like a little stream. And then I thought, well, why don't we find out how far away the adventurers are from the different towns? So there are two towns here, River Run and Totsilford. And uh, you've got some decorations on the base. Okay, so that's my Glotkin commission. Hope you guys like it. Please let me know what you think. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Oh, there's no rates anymore. Yeah, just comment and subscribe. And I'm overall, I'm pretty happy with how this fella turned out. All right, thanks for watching.